Yo, what is going on on you dream getters and goal setters out there in YouTube world? Alright, so as promised, I'm continuing the series that I'm really, really looking forward to uh, since it's the Pro-Am for the hashtag 2K Draft Me. And uh, again, running this center. This is the second half of the, the video. So if you missed the first half, you know, you just click in the in the video list right there and I'll have that for you. Uh, this is going to help me out and hopefully it'll help others out to do some lab work regarding a center position for the Pro-Am League. Now I'm doing this because it's a niche player. A lot of people are playmakers and shop creators. So here, uh, I definitely went with this to, to do a more of a, a team-like supportive role. Although, look at that man. Oh! I had so many plays created, but my guys just couldn't finish. Uh, in real life, I'm a playmaker, I'm a point guard and shooter, play the one and the two. Uh, so I think these types of skills definitely transcend in this game since 2K has, has been doing an awesome job with the gameplay. I'm really loving it. Uh, and my team, uh, from you can see in the other uh, video, spoiler alert, uh, was blown out in the first quarter. Let me know what your your experience has been uh, with the Pro-Am League. Now, this is my first game, but I'm continually going to get better since with every game I'm going to upgrade my player. And I saw some, some of my teammates lagging out. And here, look at that man, I tried to do a post move. I know I have no post moves, so I, I brought it back out, but that definitely didn't help. Uh, I was definitely hit with a lot of bump steals in this game so as you can see there just standing there to, to give more options to my shooters because if they don't shoot like all threes we're definitely not gonna win but I got the rebound and then got blocked so did something good and then did something bad should have definitely uh, hit it out but you know look at that he's open he should have taken the shot and now I'm down there I'm trying to get the rebounds but like I said I didn't pass it out on the other play because I mean you definitely gotta get some shots in you know sometimes they'll go in sometimes they won't I understand that I need to upgrade my player and definitely get a team started man I mean that's what the play and teamwork is all about so this is gonna be such fun oh as my guy gets a nasty dunk on him and he's on fire and it's definitely hoogie time shout outs to him if you're watching um, Dude, uh, I mean that that power forward position right there. He was he was definitely helping me out, and right there I'm again using my. Oh, mm. get that dunk on, man! Wow. Like I said, so Hoogie Time was definitely helping out uh, to see what I'm lacking in in this uh, center position here. I'm trying to look for options. I see you. He passes it back out to me. Give it back a two-man game. There we go. I mean, that's what I like. If you guys like even hook me up and we get a game started, that's what you're gonna expect from me. I'm always looking for the pass. I'm always looking for the uh, open shot. And as Steve Kerr says, you know, you go from a good shot to a better shot. And that was just lousy defense by me. But I know my physical limitations since I need to get my lateral quickness up, my acceleration, and my speed with my 65 level attributes that's definitely showing and that was an experiment that I wanted to do uh, with this is it really uh, regarding and based upon the stats that your player has or is it just your play and see, see now toward the end we were definitely playing much much better uh, I'm trying to keep up but again I'm too slow for these guys and uh, here they, they called some times out some timeouts and I don't know if that helps out with the energy like in like in the my team so maybe so or maybe calling a play but dude I mean they're up 45 this is a total blow from the beginning and I guess it's pretty true that if if you either have a point guard or a center that are not strong enough to play a fundamental piece in your team then the team is gonna handle some else he gave me space but uh, I know I'm not a shooter. I would have probably bricked that as well, but see that was an error on my part I should have taken it. You got an open shot. Take it man. I mean especially when we're up. I mean when we're down What is it now 47 
at least you know try it and again I get the turnover man I was just I started out playing so well and in the end uh, the team started out playing even better but then I started doing those turnovers so I have to cut down on that the other team is just you know clowning around you these are like I wish I was on the other side hopefully soon enough I'll be on that winning side winning by 40 by 50 uh, and I'm just trying to do my best. I'm trying to hold my ground. Like even with this guy, he looks like so strong. But it's definitely much more of a fast-paced game nowadays. They don't feed it down in the post, so this is another reason why my build is much more of a glass cleaner. See, I was cutting there. I don't know if I, if I could have gotten the layup or the dunk, but uh, I had a team in, in this first time out that uh, they really didn't pass it to me. So I don't know if they were uh, ball hogs. I did get some looks, but not enough, man. I just wish I was playing with guys that were much more of team players. So now I'm just thinking to myself, all right, this is much more of a practice. And yes, we talk about practice. Because I mean, if I get mad over this, this first try, then there's not going to be a progress, right? So I, I understand it's going to be slow, but I personally have to see some progression, some evolution at least fixing all these mistakes would be good for me here I try to go out and even though my arms are long I can't even get enough to slightly like even distract them uh, some more shots I thought that you know in the end we were playing a lot faster and get some good looks I mean those are the type of looks that we could have gotten early in the game but we didn't I guess it was just a matter of you know harmony and chemistry and especially uh, if we were able to talk a lot more during plays, it definitely helps out if you know who you're playing with and what they're going to do. It's all about communication out there on the court, uh, especially playing with randoms. It's it's like a whole new ball game uh, out there. And at least from this first experience, I, I saw my guys saying like, oh, okay, yeah, nice shot. Oh, oh, I can't believe you did that. But I mean, that's, that's just natural expression. But it doesn't help out, you know. E even if if my point guard is gonna be like, okay, you know, hit me up with a, hit me up with a wall, you know, hit me up with a pick, a pick and roll, pick and pop. I'm not a pick and popper. I'm much more of a pick and roller because um, my shooting attributes are really down, and that's not really my game. But if my point guard could know that, then I think, see, I'm trying to take it to the hole. I gotta take that. I, and I was lucky that. He tried to swat it. That, that was a big mistake by him, but thank you very much. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's for that because that just helps me out getting some points on the board, some stats. And toward the end of this game, I pretty much had the same stats as I do with the NBA games. I've definitely played more NBA games. Uh, so that was surprising to me. And hopefully I'm doing this right. I'm almost up there in the Hall of Fame with the Hustle Rebounder. So since my rebound stats aren't that great then I'm seeing how those badges work out and here just grinding some VC and I'm definitely seeing that for that VC this is definitely not the way to go I get almost a thousand per game on the NBA's but again it's it's part of the experience part of the process and look at these guys with all the maze man uh, here are my stats so five points six rebounds two assists I had one block, but again, I am very happy uh, with this uh, conclusion to this first game and look forward to the next one. Uh, Y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you have a blessed day. Peace out.